you a magical rule in fashion that changed my life. Now, if you follow this rule, you'll notice all of a sudden you look better in any outfits. If you have two pieces of clothing that don't look good together, are you thinking it's the color? I used to, but a lot of times it's not. It's a the rule of volume might sound quite simple. All you need to do is to just wear one voluminous item at a time. It sounds straightforward, right? But in reality, it actually can be quite complicated because volume is everywhere. It's not just in oversized clothing. I make this mistake all the time myself. Here is a typical example. Both pieces are relaxed, but here's a problem. Because both the cardigan and the pants have volume, they don't really look that great together. They look a little sloppy and they also agey. Now, if I change the top to a wrap sweater, you can try this with any sweater that's fitted. It makes a huge difference. If you think the sweater looks a little too tight for you, you can change to anything that is fitted. Your top doesn't need to be tight. They just need to be fitted. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down. I would like to know that too. If you're new here, I would love to have you back. So hit that subscribe button. White leg pants is probably one of the most popular items with a lot of volume. A lot of us love the white leg shape, but this is one of the hardest clothing items to wear. If you're short like me, you can wear white leg pants, but you just need to be very selective and be really strategic while you wear with them. I normally go with really long white leg pants because if they're short, they can really make your legs look cut off. That combined with the fact that they have a lot of volume, sometimes it can look like a disaster, especially on women with shorter legs. Here's a secret tip. Even if the white leg pants have white legs, you still need to make sure it's well fitted on your butt. This is so important. If the white leg pants are loose on your buttocks, it can really look sloppy because that's just way too much volume. So you want to make sure you find the white leg pants that fit you really well in the butt. And the only volume is coming from the leg shape. When I wear white leg pants, I always wear high heels because high heels gives you height and lengthens you. When you look longer, that counterbalance the volume. Another secret is to go with pointed toe shoes. On the surface, we're talking about volume of the clothes. It may sound on the surface that has nothing to do with the shoes. Shoes are critical in controlling the volume of your outfit. Pointed toes is the best way to control the volume. This is especially important in the winter because everything in winter has a lot of volume your outerwear, your accessories, pants, everything. And that is why the best way to counterbalance all that volume in your layering is to wear a pair of pointed toe shoes. It doesn't matter if you're wearing boots or booties or pumps. This toe shape can keep the volume in check. And not only that, if you're petite like me, pointed toe can really make your legs look much longer even though it's just one inch of difference at the toe shape. Now let's look at cable knit sweaters. These are super on trend and they're very cute. I love them for the winters. But this kind of design, they can really add a lot of volume and they can look very bulky. They make you look heavier than you are easily. So I have found the better way to wear cable knit is to go with a shorter length like this one. I've always found shorter cable knit sweaters are easier to style than longer ones. And the reason is quite simple. When it's shorter, it covers less of your body. So the volume only exists in a smaller area of your body. Does that make sense? Plus, when it's shorter, it also makes it much easier to style in terms of the bottom you can wear with it. Like this length, I can wear it with pants, jeans, and skirts, any sort of skirts, no matter the length. If you're a dress person or a skirt person like me, 
you like to wear skirts or dresses in the winter as well, then here's another video you must watch. In this video, I talk about how the proportion makes a huge difference. You wear skirts or dresses in the winter, how exactly you should style it. Another way to keep the volume in check when you wear a cable knit sweater like this is to make sure the sleeves are not too long. Most of the times, a cable knit sweaters come with longer sleeves. So that's like a double challenge. When the sleeves are long and the sweaters are bulky, that can be really hard to wear, especially if you're petite like me. So I always make sure I roll up the sleeves or I just pull them up. Now here's a secret tip. If you're petite like me, whenever you pull up your sleeves, it also makes your legs look longer. I can't explain the scientific reason behind that, but that's just what our eyes perceive. If you have never tried this before, try this in front of the mirror yourself today and you'll notice a big difference. When you roll up the sleeves, your outfit all of a sudden looks different. The volume exists not just in cable knit sweater. Like this sweater, the weaving pattern goes horizontal. That's another way of volume. And here's another design which is very on trend, the bad wing sleeves. Sleeves like this add so much volume to your sweater. Because of all of these designs, this kind of sweater does not go well if your bottom has any more volume. I found the best way to wear a sweater like this is to go with narrow leg jeans or narrow leg pants. Like this one. Now, here is not just controlling the volume. I'm also wearing a monochrome. When you wear monochrome, it draws the eye up and down. That creates a vertical unbroken line, which is very flattering. And especially, it's critical if you're petite like me. When it goes up and down, it goes vertical, that counterbalance, the horizontal expansive effect of the volume. This is much more flattering. Now let's look at outerwear. This is a headache that we all face, especially if you live in a colder area like me. We all need winter coats and coats are volume, big volume. I always go with shorter coats. This Sherlin coat I just got, folk fur. These are very trendy designs. If you're thinking about getting one, it's really important you master the rule of volume. When it's shorter, it keeps the volume at a smaller area of your body. That's what makes it easier to style. And plus, of course, the proportion matters too. If you have to wear longer coats, I do a lot of times because of how cold it is. It's freezing in the winter here. I always go with long coats with waist definition. Now let's talk about puffer coats. If you live in a cold area like me, puffer coats are inevitable in the winter. Because it got so much volume, you really want to pay more attention to the design details. Here's a couple of things I always look for. First of all, you want to make sure it has some kind of waist definition. Some of the puffer coats have a belt, which is great. That's easiest. If it doesn't have a belt, you still want to make sure the waist is fitted. Like this one from Eddie Bauer, it's fitted inside. It doesn't have a belt on the outside. It still works pretty well to tame the volume of the puffer coat. The second thing that's actually very important but a lot of people are not paying attention to is the sleeve length. Whenever the sleeves are too long, that's never gonna look very good, especially if you're petite like myself. So here's what I always look for. You obviously don't want it to be too short because you don't want to show your underlayer. We all wear sweaters under the puffer coat. You want it to be long enough to cover your underlayer. But you don't want it to be too long. You don't want it to be covering your entire palms. That's not flattering. You want to make sure it's long enough, but not too long. When I wear a puffer coat, wear them with skinny jeans, with booties, or skinny jeans with tall boots. I found this kind of combination works the best to control the volume from this puffer coat because skinny jeans fit very close to your legs and the booties that always go with pointed toe booties. These are the best ways to me to look balanced. And you can also go with tall boots, it can be knee-high boots or over-the-knee boots. Either way, 
they will form a vertical line at the bottom and that's going to counterbalance the volume from the puffer coat. Volume is not just in clothing, it's also in shoes and especially in winter boots. Some winter boots like the snow boots or the ox naturally come with a lot of volume. So it's harder to style them. If you wear boots a lot in the winter, watch this video. How to style your winter boots so that they won't make your legs look cut off. Here's a rule of thumb when it comes to volume for your boots. If your boots already have a lot of volume, you want to make sure your silhouette for your clothes is streamlined, it's minimalist. You want to get rid of any distraction and you don't want too many accessories. That is the same concept, only one voluminous item at a time. It also applies to your shoes. Because I wear jeans so much, I spend a lot of time to figure out what kind of jeans are most flattering. You might be thinking to yourself, mm, jeans, of course I know how to wear jeans, that's easy. But don't buy another pair of jeans before you watch this video first. There's a lot of design details that you probably were not paying attention to, but they make a huge difference on how the jeans make you look. This video is a must watch.